green juice. <laughs> Here's the look at satellite and radar. Late last night into early this morning, we had some widespread rain and some rumbles of thunder that you might have woken up to. It was pretty loud at times. Now we're continuing to dry up this morning. Little bits of drizzle here or there left to go, but otherwise we're looking at a mainly dry day today and we'll even see some sunshine but a colder trend is shaping up. That's all coming in with a cold front. We're in the lower 40s right now in Chicago, and that's pushing into our direction. Northwest winds already kicking in, giving us a bit of a breeze this morning, but it's this wind direction that is going to play the main course for really keeping things on the cooler side. Peak wind gusts today up to 25, maybe even 30 miles per hour at most, but that's looking to be about it. Future track will show you again cloud cover for the early part of the morning that will lo lose out of here, moving more and more to the east and we see sunshine in its path. Unfortunately, I don't think sunshine is going to be all day long today. It is looking a little bit more on the limited spots. We'll hold on to sunshine at least until maybe 2 3 p.m. Then cloud cover slowly starts to build in again, calling it mostly to partly sunny today. But again, we are dry and we do clear out as we go into the weekend too. Speaking of the weekend, we are looking much cooler compared to what we had last weekend. In fact, by Saturday tomorrow, I do think some places could even struggle to hit 50 degrees. We do look to be in the low 50s for Sunday. Not only are the afternoons cooler, but the mornings are much colder. So you'll have to watch out, especially if you have any of those sensitive plants. We run the risk of frost for the next few mornings. And also for any gardeners and farmers out there, Mother Nature not helping out with the watering after last night's rain. Looks like our next opportunity for more widespread showers will hold off until Tuesday at this point. And for next week, we don't have many opportunities for rain. Tuesday looking like one of the bigger ones before we slowly tick up with a few isolated showers a little closer to Thursday. Here's your seven day forecast. As I've mentioned, we are a bit cooler. In fact, we've already hit our official high temperature. That was just past midnight when we were in the mid 60s. Now we continue to fall because of the cold front. We will rebound, making it into the mid 50s for the afternoon. Temperatures for this weekend, again on the cooler side, but beautiful sunshine for this weekend and Monday too. Monday looking pretty nice with temperatures back in the low 60s. Low 60s also for Tuesday as we bring in more chances for rain showers. Behind that front on Tuesday, we're looking to be in the upper 50s for Wednesday and Thursday with partly cloudy skies. All in all, a bit of a cooler trend the next few days. And yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised if some people are maybe running the heat over the weekend with how cold it's going to get for some of these nights. Yeah, overnight lows in the 30s. Time to Ooh. crank that heat back up. Yeah. All right.